push towards the legalization of marijuana has gained another advocate. The former U.S. attorney, John McKay, who uh, jailed the Prince of Pot, Mark Emery, is pushing for the legalization of marijuana. He's doing this in an effort to reduce the violence by Mexican drug cartels and the strain on the legal system for marijuana possession. Uh, McKay made this announcement yesterday with Jody Emery, the wife of Mark Emery, who now joins us from Vancouver. So, Jody, tell us what has changed in the fight for the legalization of marijuana now with this uh, backing of John McKay? Well, we've seen that with groups like Stop the Violence BC, that there are many respected experts and professionals who know that prohibition is failing to solve the problems it's meant to solve. So these people aren't saying that marijuana use is something everyone should do. They're not saying that they support gangs or organized crime. They're saying that right now, under prohibition, the problems keep getting worse, and the only way to end those problems is to end prohibition. Last weekend was the Summit of Americas, and, and South American countries were calling for drug legalization at those meetings. Uh, if Canada does legalize marijuana, how can this help in preventing violence in South American countries? Well, we know that the United States policy of the war on drugs is exported into these countries in Latin and Central America and around the world. So if we were to end prohibition of marijuana, all of these countries could then create their own policies to best regulate the production and distribution of marijuana and other drugs. Alcohol prohibition, we all know, was a failed policy that just created a criminal market to control the distribution of alcohol. And we're seeing the exact same thing happen with marijuana. So if the government thinks that marijuana and drugs are dangerous, that's all the more reason to control them and regulate them instead of leaving them in the hands of dangerous people. Uh, as we heard at those meetings last weekend, both President Barack Obama and Prime Minister Stephen Harper not in favor uh, of legalizing drugs, at least not this time. Uh, the Harper government has been tough on crime and punishment, so how are you going to go up against the government? Well, politicians and anyone who supports prohibition is supporting organized crime. We know that in Mexico, where the full military strength and law are used against cartels, that the cartels have only gotten richer and more powerful, and there are 50,000 dead people to show for that war on drugs. Toughening the penalties only makes it worse for everyone. Gangsters continue to make billions of dollars, while taxpayers lose billions of dollars in law enforcement. So this government and anyone who supports prohibition is really supporting the continuation of the problems we have today. And I would hope that they'll see the light and hear from all the experts and evidence and people from the front lines, like John McKay, my husband's prosecutor, that this isn't working. And if we really want to keep drugs away from children and we really want to get rid of gangs, there's only one way to do that, and it's not the prohibition policy we have in place right now. You referenced John McKay. How did you get him to come on board? How did all of that transpire? Well, I actually met him a year ago when I was invited to the Washington State Legislature to testify for legalization. And at that point, he was testifying with me in favor of legalization. So a year later, Stop the Violence BC, an incredible organization that brought forward mayors, attorneys generals, and chief health officers, has brought him up here to have this press conference so everyone can see the absurdity of the war on drugs that harmless people are being put in prison and harmed by this policy. The government should never harm any individual who hasn't brought harm to others. So the drug war is a perfect example of many people being locked away and many gangsters killing others over this policy, and it's a total failure. Jody Emery, the wife of the Prince of Pop, Mark Emery from Vancouver, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.